Hello all, today we are going to discuss about cyanosis. It is an important sign in the general physical examination. It is, cyanosis is the bluish discoloration of oral mucosa, tongue, skin and nail bud due to excess amount of reduced hemoglobin more than 5 gram per deciliter. Anemia may mask the cyanosis even if hypoxemia is present. In primary polycythemia, cyanosis is present without hypoxemia and it is called red cyanosis. So there will be cyanosis with hypoxemia, hypoxemia without cyanosis and cyanosis without hypoxemia. Cyanosis with hypoxemia when reduced hemoglobin is more than 5 gram per deciliter and hypoxemia without cyanosis in case of moderate to severe anemia and cyanosis without hypoxemia in case of primary polycythemia. There are four clinical types of cyanosis, central cyanosis, peripheral cyanosis, mixed cyanosis and differential cyanosis. Central cyanosis, it is the bluish discoloration of tongue oral mucosa. Etiopathogenesis of central cyanosis, therefore etiopathogenesis, defect in heart, defect in lung, defect in hemoglobin, defect in atmospheric oxygen content. First defect in heart, it's called cardiac cyanosis. It is due to the mixing of venous and oxygenated blood. Example in case of cyanotic congenital heart disease, right to left shunt as in TOF. Then next defect in lung, pulmonary cyanosis. It can be ventilatory defect, uh, for example in case of COPD or diffusion defect in case of interstitial lung disease. The next defect in hemoglobin, it can be either abnormal hemoglobin or excess hemoglobin, excess hemoglobin in case of primary polycythemia. Abnormal hemoglobin uh, can be either methemoglobinemia or self-hemoglobinemia. Cyanosis occurs when methemoglobin is more than 1.5 gram percentage. It can be either congenital for example in glutathione deficiency, occurred uh, due to drugs like phenacetin, sulfur. Self, next self hemoglobinemia, cyanosis occurs when self hemoglobin is more than 0.5 gram percentage, can be either due to drugs like sulfone and chronic constipation can cause self hemoglobinemia by absorption of uh, sulfur from intestine. The next defect in atmospheric oxygen content in high altitude. The next about the peripheral cyanosis, it is the bluish discoloration of cold areas of body like uh, nail blood, fingers, toes, tip of nose, ear lobes spare and spares the warm areas like oral mucosa and tongue where there is no vasoconstriction. Etiopathogenesis is due to microcirculation defect and there will be more extraction of oxygen by tissues leading to increased amount of reduced hemoglobin. And types of peripheral cyanosis can be generalized or localized. Generalized in case of cold weather, shock, low cardiac output, severe right heart failure, severe pulmonary arterial hypertension. Localized in case of major vein occlusion like superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, femoral vein. The next mixed cyanosis, there will be features of both central and peripheral cyanosis and both diffusion defect and microcirculation defect will be there. For example, acute pulmonary edema with shock, acute myocardial infarction. Then last, uh, differential cyanosis. The, there will be evidence of central cyanosis and clubbing either in both lower extremities or in both upper extremities including conjunctiva, oral mucosa, tongue. Example, in case of patent ductus arteriosus with reversal of shunt, there will be cyanosis and clubbing of toes in both lower extremities. And in transmotion of great arteries with the patent ductus arteriosus, there will be cyanosis with clubbing of fingers in both upper extremities. Thank you.